Uh, we're talking to Dr. Leonard Madhu, and he's talking about the growing economic influence of uh, China and the Caribbean. And uh, Dr. Madhu, I might add, you're giving us some extraordinary information and recalling to mind some of the uh, old controversies that uh, have been going on for a long time, but I now, now think that they are in a new light. Let's continue mm -hmm. our discussion in yeah. reference to that. So the diplomatic war, you know, between the People's Republic of China, which is now the legitimate government of China, mm -hmm. and the Republic of Taiwan, which used to be recognized as the legitimate government of China, mm -hmm. continues. And this war, you know, has gone to Africa, and now it's shifted to the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. And that's what one of the reasons why you see the Chinese moving into the Caribbean and expending so much money. Most of the Caribbean countries recognized Taiwan as the legitimate government of China. So what the Republic of China is doing now is saying, hey, if you still want to recognize Taiwan as a legitimate government, no money. But if you de-recognize the Republic of China and recognize us as you know, the legitimate government, hey, there'll be a whole lot of money coming in. So what happened, a lot of, you know, countries in the Caribbean who had diplomatic relations with, with, Taiwan. with Taiwan broke mm -hmm. off diplomatic relations and recognized the People's Republic of China as a legitimate government. So China said, okay, you recognize us, here's the money, okay? Countries like Haiti, which has had a long-term relationship, you know, with Taiwan, mm -hmm. said, no, we're not going to de-recognize Taiwan. We'll still recognize Taiwan. But if you want to do business with us, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. So in a way, even though the Chinese don't like it, they are giving a little here and there to, 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 to hate it. Just to keep them interested. Exactly, to mm -hmm. keep them interested. And a mm -hmm. um, few other countries, one or two other countries, like St. Kitts, still had a relationship with, with Taiwan. You know, instead of the other China, mm -hmm. but they are getting some little here and there, for, also from China to make them think mm -hmm. again about if they're going to continue reevaluate re their situation yeah, exactly. in reference re to two Chinas, uh, exactly. so to speak, <laughs> <laughs> to two Chinas. <laughs> That's right. So, so, so that the majority of the countries now in the Caribbean recognize the People's Republic of China, you know, because they are pumping in all this money to boost the investment. So they're not going to be bringing that money if you don't recognize them. Mm -hmm. See, So that's the key. That's the number one reason, you know, why the Chinese want to make sure Taiwan doesn't have influence there to mm -hmm. get rid of them mm -hmm. and, you know, have more influence in that part of the world. Mm -hmm. Now, secondly, we can talk of Chinese, you know, expansion. This is the Chinese century you know, of, of economic power, kind of, uh, military power. So now China is trying to throw its weight around, you know, say, yes, we, we have money and we want to use it to help other countries. And that's competition. They're competing with, you know, the United States, Britain, and other colonial powers. <coughs> now, and third, a lot of these countries in the Caribbean and in Africa, when they ask themselves, they say, well, are we better off getting money from China? Mm -hmm. are, we getting, are we better getting money from the United States or Britain also? Mm -hmm. Well, most of them say, well, China has never been a colonial power here. Mm -hmm. Okay, they've never colonized us. They've not done anything wrong here. So, you know, we don't have any, any problem with the them. The grievance is really against China exactly. from yeah. the colonial past. That's correct. Mm -hmm. they, they were not part of the colonial mm -hmm. system here. We have no grievances. Mm -hmm. But what is happening now is that a lot of people are saying, wait a minute, you know, if they buy up all these things, we will become slaves to them. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll be owing them, everything belongs to them. And if they're if, bringing the workers there, and they're doing the building that's there, and, and, they, all that, and <laughs> they have more workers there <laughs> than on a the project population. than the population <laughs> itself, and small <laughs> population. And how long would it take uh, the Chinese to outnumber people with uh, 850,000 people in the population? That's good, 83,000. 83,000 yeah, people exactly, in the population. Exactly, Dominica is 83,000 people, not Eight. even up to the population of North Nashville. See, they, okay. they build two casinos there, send their workers there, that's great. and they've, they've, they've imported more than... Uh, <laughs> more of their uh, 
people that, 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 that are, they are literally <laughs> taking over in, in a real colonial kind of uh, sense, you yeah, know, yeah, of yes, control, if you, if you look the at control it, of the land. Exactly, if you look at it that